Ah, that's a good habit, reaching for the seatbelt. This old truck doesn't have seatbelts, but we're going to fix that today by putting a three-point seatbelt in here. Stick around, you want to see this one. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're not new to the channel, then you'll know I've been talking about these seat belts for a while, and a lot of you've been looking for it. So um, I got the seat belts in. So in this kit, it comes with two seat belts: one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side. It also comes with the center belt. Not this is not the center lap belt. It snaps into that one. It also comes with some necessary hardware, and we'll get more into all this as we do the install. So it does come with everything. Um, I got this from Seatbelt Plus. So there's some things I like about it and some things I don't like about it. And I'll give my overall opinion and view when, when this is done. And, uh, you know, let you know if it's something you might be looking forward, you know, look for getting or maybe going with another brand. But um, you're going to find out my opinions in this video. We'll get started getting this installed and we'll see how it goes. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the seat out of here so we can ac have access behind the seats and to the top bolt. So we'll get the seats out. On the back of this seat, there's just three screws that hold the clips in. So I'm gonna pull them out real fast and then we can have complete access. Okay, we got the seat out this spot right back in here behind the seat is where we're going to be bolting on the adjustable retractable part I should say and then right up in here at the headline is where the shoulder mounts gonna go and then we're gonna have in the center here somewhere one on each side actually the center bar the center buckle I should say um, the receiver end of the seatbelt. So anyway, we're gonna start on this side and we're gonna get rolling. All right, so here's our seatbelt set up for this side over here. What I did is I have this L bracket right here because it's gonna go on the floor, mounted whatever way you want, depending on the size of the side of the vehicle. So in this situation, this is going to be located orient it in this direction right here and this will get bolted up so all right we're gonna mark it and get a hole drill all right we got it marked we're gonna go ahead and get a hole drilled I'm just gonna use one of these bits and we're gonna just get our hole drilled Okay, so here's how this works. What I have here is my bolt, a smaller washer, then a big washer, and I'm gonna sandwich this down, and then on the bottom, I'm planning on doing the same thing with a lock washer, with that lock washer, and a nut. So that's the game plan. Under, get underneath and secure it up. Okay, we're going to turn this that way just a little bit and we're going to run this up top to make sure we're still on the right orientation. be nice and this will get adjusted all the way up and 
that way it retracts. That away. Alrighty. Now we gotta get this part mounted up here. That's gonna be the tricky part. But we got a plan. All right, so first thing we got to do before we can even get to this is pull out these screws on this rail right here and remove the section of headliner right here so we can get to either side of it. So we're just going to pop these screws out real quick and go from there. Right, and the last screw right here, and we'll pull this free. All right, so with that piece of headliner out, we can have access point to this right here. So what we got to do is figure out where we're going to put this, get a drill on it, and then we should be able to reach back in there and hold what we need to do right through that hole and get this thing buckled up on both sides. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this up to where we want it. So I want to just have it a little bit above about my ear level. So it's going to be somewhere in this area right there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a little circle dot right there. Drill that out. Like I say, we should be able to reach back in and grab what we need to do there. So let's grab a drill and get it drilled out. Okay, so I realized during filming of this, um, I was in the way most of the time. So basically what I did is I stuck my hand back down inside here, shoved the bolts through, put on the big washer, put on the lock washer, and put on the nut. If you notice, my hands are black right now. So you notice my hands are black. So what I did is I took some ATV gasket sealer and I put it on each piece. So as I slid one piece on, it's stuck. Kind of goo, you know, and that's glued. And then the next one, I put the lock washer on, it stuck. And then I could come back out and get the nut and go back in. So that's why it it held up for me anyway. I mean, you might not need it, but I did it because I don't want to be dropping bolts and everything. So here we are. The only thing left to do is stick my hand back in this corner and tighten things up. All right, so this is a very awkward camera angle, but I wanted to show you... Um, drilling this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill both of them out at the same time. So I know it has to be right here. The one. straight across from the other one. All brackets that I have with the kit and I'm just going to go down underneath put a washer lock washer nut on them and tighten them down all right let's just throw the seat back in here and size things up see where we're at and what we need to do but we should be pretty good on that side All right, that's close enough to do some testing. Ha, 
We've got seatbelts. Awesome. Awesome. Now I feel better about having my wife and grandkids in this truck. Awesome. All right. That's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so we've got a seat belt. The only thing left to do, we've already put in the center belt for this passenger side, but we gotta put the retractable part bolted to the floor over to this side, put up that top part, bolt that to the cab, and uh, that's all it is to it. Oh, and get this headliner put back up here. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the project. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask in the bottom. And now I'll tell you what my thoughts are on these seat belts. These came from Seatbelt Plus. I'll put a link on the bottom. Um, there's a few things that I don't like about them. Uh, like back in this corner here on, there's another seatbelt company that I know of. They're called Brothers. So they have a big mounting plate that goes back behind here um, in the corner, which I think all of this being sandwich tight is very important. So back here, what I had to do was add the washer and add my own stuff to it. So if you're willing to buy a few washers here and there, um, and save a, save the money on the brother's side, then you're good to go. You know what I mean? Um, another thing that I'm struggling with right now, and I'm, I imagine because it's new, is as I'm pulling this out, sometimes it gets hung up sooner than I would like. Again, it could be a, off in an adjustment, or I could be pulling it out crooked. So, But either way, I only have to pull it out once, and then I'm locked in. So anyway, thanks again, guys. I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, more projects to come. We have the bed project coming up. We're going to put wood in. We have barn wood. We're going to plane down, router out, and put it the barn wood in. Um, also, I got a rim project coming the end of this month. Yeah, that's right, the end of this month. Uh, April, I'm sorry. A couple of weeks. Um, the dream sickle picture right here. Goes to Delaware um, for the interior. The gasser project. The hinges are made. We will have a tilt front end on the 55 gasser very soon. So all these things are coming up. We're looking pretty good for uh, projects to do. So I hope you like the channel. Stick around. Hit that bell. And uh, yeah, good stuff's coming out. So thanks again for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Seatbelts.